Here we are again, Hero Mode Burst is going at it again. Lately I've been having really good luck, or maybe my deck is actually somewhat good, but lately I have been able to make it to first and second place, and I think the worst placing I've ever made in, in my late games have been fourth places or third places. And that's pretty awesome for me to say. And this is what I am still running, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and I sh thought I should give you guys an update on what I have in this one. It's a really good deck. I love the, the blue red aggro. It's just so amazing. So I mean I just don't like to say much. Y'all might think that I, like I might have like bought these but no. Nope. I still got these winter mats here. So that's one winter mat still in the casing. This is two winter mats here. And then I got one more. Let me see right here. If I can show the last one, it, the art is really good. Like, I love this amazing art from these guys. Uh, when they made the winter mats, they might be a little bit small, but hey, it's proof of actually winning something, right? So why not? This was my favorite, though. Yep. So I was able to get those, and of course, I was able to luckily also get these winter sleeves from playing in the tournaments and I thought that I should just show you guys what I have earned and like what I have in this deck that makes it go run so smoothly so without further ado let's get right into it all right so here we go I laid it all out for you guys again as usual if you always if you don't know any other deck list that they always lay out, some people don't usually do it, but I just placed it in within like the two minutes. I'll probably write that in the description below, but here it is all laid out. Um, it's a really fun deck, it's just, I think you need more practice on how how to set it up, so here we go, let's go into it. So you guys already know about Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the front side, you can just discard a card from your hand, and he just brings out two energy for free. Well, not for free, but for a cost for that. So you bring that two energy, you would hope for a blue and a red, that's what you would hope for. And if it's a black, it's not the end of the world, I promise you. It's actually really, uh, it's, it's an inconvenience, but it's okay, you won't die, I promise you. But yeah, the back side is basically you can only have six energy and you can get attack for, you can get a card, draw a card for an attack. So basically it's like any other leader, but we're only using this card for the front, obviously. So here we go, let's go into our attackers here. The big hitters are the Jiren, Fist to the Justice, a fierce, ah, sorry guys, Fist of Justice, Jiren. Basically he's a heavy hitter, he's the one that can board wipe a lot of people. 30,000 attack in the first strike and then hit another one if you really need to. That's an amazing card to have early game. We got the Ghost Attack Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. This card's amazing, I have, again, sorry, I'm getting my head of myself. Two of these guys, Jiren. Three of this guy, I love tokens. These tokens are 15,000 each attacker. And once you have four cards in hand, he's a really great end game card. When in, and he's just pressure. If you have 15,000, 15,000, he's gonna discard cards just for the fact of that he has to block all those. And it and you do get to, to him pretty quickly if you play this card right. Um, ability Unleashed Gohan. He's really good for the draws and the double strike. You can place basically fear into your uh, opponents to actually negate it so they won't get double strike and then you can just draw a card for the effect or you can use this chain attack trunks bring them out with it but mostly I also use the chain attack trunks not only for this Gohan but for Zeno the playing god because of those pesky apes uh, the Kaba package the you know the, the veggie package you want to wipe all those out and their hand and you gotta use chain attack trunks for that so what better ways to go through right so these are our basic um, big cards that we use. So we have four chain attack trunks, three ability Gohans, three ghost attack go tanks, and the two um, Jiren Fist of Justice. So we have our awakening maneuver. So we at least need six ways to awaken our our leader in case they actually hit us at least one time. So we got Saiyan Kabas. So you just need definite red whenever you get to turn two or three. And you're gonna need Saiyan Kabas. We got four of those, of course, and we got two increasing evil mass Saiyans. This guy's amazing, you know, if you have four cards in your discard, you warp four, 
and or you warp your whole thing if you have four or more. Place this card out, tap an energy, you take a life, and you can pop a card from their field that's four or five or less. Only one card, it's not like the other Mass Saiyan. But it's really amazing. And yeah, that's one way to like, these are our ways to like, awaken ourselves when we need to. And the other black card is the Scientist Fu. We just have one of those. Now we don't want more than three because it kind of does suck if it, just in case, you know, two black cards come out instead and that's where you get like pesky. Like that's what sucks. But anyways, here we go. We got three Majin Boos, boosted Majin Boos, just for draws or just for blue energy if you really need to put something down. Majin Boos are always a good option. Raging Spirit, Sun go on whenever he's at, you're already at four life. You can just tap an energy, use Raging Spirit and you can have, you can have board presence like crazy. Or you could just draw for these other super combos that you have the option to. Tap an energy and you've got Unbreakable Super Saiyan Goku just to draw the cards. So again, let's see. I'm going to tell you about this card. It's an amazing card. This Planet M2. This is an amazing card to have. Regardless of those people that have tried to use um, Goku to evolve into the Kind Saiyan. Use it. Whenever you attack, you just use it. And then the 5000, it lowers it to zero. If it hits zero, then it kills it off. This Planet M2 is incredible. Alright, we got three Pride and Justice Topos. Let's go into our defense now. Pride and Justice Topos. We love these guys. Like, you just tap two red energy, then he basically negates it, and you play him on the field in active mode, too. So, if anything, if you really need to, like, protect your life or anything, you can just combo with him if need be. You got two Mafubas. That one's a really, like, a card. Like, if they attack you with great or... King Vegeta 8 and so then they can like they won't have barrier anymore that's one way to get it out Mafubo if they attack you with it because they're so confident that they're gonna bring it back up with Prince or Planet Vegeta so we have also the boost attack Piccolo I rather have boost attack Piccolo than the other one because honestly I'd rather draw cards than you know then what's the word then just pop a card back in case it's a super combo which really sucks so we have four Whis Coercions just for a good defense. And these Sensu Beans we have three of. So we have three Sensu Beans because you can either place it on the Jiren or whenever somebody uses a token, you can place it on the Goku in the 20,000. And people have to like hesitate on actually attacking you. Because then they usually waste their own cards just to try to get you to there. But yeah, this is my whole deck list. So first I'm going to actually try to get an ideal hand. So. Let's try something. Uh, let's go with two Saiyan Kabas in hand, right? We'll see what we can do here. One Majin Buu. Um, what would be good? Hmm. It'd be great if I could get you guys, you know, like online. Planet M2 into the hand. So that's four cards right now. We need six cards. Let's see another one. Let's take these two. Chain Attack Trunks. And Zeno the playing god. You want at least one just in case. Like, you never know. What sucks about Zeno the playing god sometimes is that you will have like dead cards in hand, like towards the end. But that's when you want. If you have two cards, just use one of the Zenos already and use it in your energy. You don't want to keep those and you don't have the, those dead cards in your hand. Which sucks, but. You got other ways to go around. What this deck mostly consists of is actually, it's amazing in, um, this deck is actually amazing using, what's the word? It's just very versatile. This deck is very versatile in most games. It does well against Cell, it does well against Mega Frieza, it can go against Khalifa. You just have to really try to awaken yourself in, way, in ways and draw whenever you can. So it's the option like what cards do you want to grab in hand before those people get to their um, win conditions. So you have to be very careful in the way those ways. So I'll be right back and I will be shuffling these cards as well as flipping this over to my way. Or you know what? Yeah I'm gonna flip it over. Alright so I'll be right back. I decided after shuffling these cards that I don't think you'd want to watch a 20 minute video just to see anything more. 
So I'm going to play another video after this one showing you how to play it. Basically a shadow play. So basically the ideal hand, you already know about it. So after that, we'll get into it in the next video. So thanks for watching and see you, li see you guys later. Man, I'm really messing up today. Weird.